Hey guys, welcome to another episode of English with Movies, where you're going to learn American English pronunciation while having fun doing it. And who doesn't like American movies, Hollywood blockbusters, and things like that? And so why not learn how to sound just like the actors? Uh, what's interesting is that many of these actors and actresses come from other countries outside the United States. They have their accents, but then now they've changed it uh, in order to have these movies. And so for each episode of English with Movies, what we're going to be doing is we're going to have a little clip from a trailer that you'll watch. And I'm going to show you how to make it sound just like it does over there in the, in the movie trailer. You're going to then record yourself doing it, maybe even a video if you want, you want to do so, and then upload it for us to see. Again, have fun, watch movies, and learn English, and learn how to say it the American way, or with an American accent. And I'll show you step by step why they sound the way they do, and how you can sound just like them. Talk to you later. Keep, up, keep it up. Tom. Morning, Brian. Stephen, are you aware that you voluntarily embarked upon a PhD in physics? Hello. Hello. Science. Arts. I'm a cosmologist. What's that? I study the marriage of space and time. The perfect couple. Okay, guys, as we've seen here in the little clip there in the theory of everything, uh, we can see a big difference. One of the big differences with... Uh, uh, with the English R or the English language and, and, and also the American English version is the differences in this R. Now, the American R has uh, actually has a, it, its own distinct sound and you produce it by, by bringing your, your tongue back and up a little bit. It kind of floats in the middle uh, and it, it looks uh, sort of like a and kind of a cobra about ready to strike. And then what happens is with, um, with English, like British English, and sometimes I can hear Indians that say this as well, uh, is that this R is actually not an American R, but what ends up happening is that all we're doing is just, is just prolonging the vowel sound. So instead of uh, are you aware, it becomes are you aware? And so you see that it's what's happening is it becomes ah, aware. And all we're doing with the British English is is just stretching that a a little bit more. Like here, uh, she says, uh, well, uh, Stephen Hawkins says science, and uh, she says arts. Notice how she said she she just stretched the a arts, arts. And also here, the perfect couple, perfect. So all, all she's doing here is just stretching the E. And so what we're trying to do here is try to make the R sound, er, er. that's the sound that needs to come out. And so the, the, the R actually is going to be your tongue again, kind of strike, like ready to strike, like, like kind of like a cobra. It should be, it should be uh, floating in the middle of your tongue. So instead of are you aware, uh, are you aware, it becomes are you aware, are you aware. Instead of a science, arts becomes arts, arts. Instead of the perfect couple, it becomes the perfect couple, perfect couple. And here's an, a good example of how this will stand out. Because if you are have your R towards the end of a stress syllable, just like you do right here, if you're missing that R in American English, it really stands out. You can hear it. Perfect. But. Ernie. Right? And so it really stands out. And so that's where you have a little bit of an accent. Now, again, not saying one is, one is right and one is wrong. But if you're wanting to make have an American accent, really need to have that R strongly on there. So it'll be the perfect couple, the perfect couple. Okay, so now let's go all over these together, but in American English, the American accent. So say them along with me. Are you aware? Are you aware? 
science. And then she says arts, arts. And the perfect couple, perfect couple. You gotta say that R, the perfect couple. And so one of the things that you wanna make sure is that your tongue isn't flat because if, if it's flat throughout here, it'll become ah. And so you wanna really be aware of what's going on with your tongue. If it's flat, then it'll be perfect. It'll be arts, aware. And, and notice how flat your tongue is. But if you're saying the R, what'll happen is that, that your tongue will actually be up a little bit and towards the back, uh, floating in the middle of your tongue, your, your mouth. So it'll be are you aware, science, arts, the perfect couple. Okay, well good. So why don't you practice these and why don't you give, uh, give us a little bit of a practice and upload and see how you guys are doing. Uh, thanks again for watching another episode of Learn English Through Movies, a fun way of, of uh, getting the American English accent. Thanks so much, guys, and don't forget to subscribe and to like us.